This is Actar's Views, from anime to figures and beyond. Hey, this is Actar and welcome to another episode of Actar's Merchandise Reviews. Ah, Kion. Love it or hate it, you cannot deny that it has been a phenomenon on an epic scale. Personally, I love it. I mean, why not? It's brilliant! Now, I'll admit that it's not everyone's, um, well, cup of tea, but for what it is, it does spectacularly well, chronicling the fun-filled high school days of five girls growing and learning and having the time of their lives together, all while rocking it out to some magnificent music. Years after the initial airing of the very first season, we are treated with the Blu-ray and DVD release of the k movie. The series certainly has come a long, long way, and quite fittingly, the girls travel a long way from the comforts of the club room in this movie. Where to? To the land of T, famous musicians and the 2012 Olympics, London. Kyoto Animation has certainly outdone themselves with some superb animation quality. Not only are the character actions fluid, the performance scenes are also brilliantly executed. Of course, the one thing that Kyoto Animation is renowned for is its attention to detail, and in this respect, they don't let us down in the slightest. Every background character is lively, every music beat is accompanied by a matching animation, and most impressively, every single setting is a dead ringer for its real world counterpart. All the way from the Kion Clubroom to the London subway. You can see just how they manage this from one of the special features included with the Blu-ray set, which we'll be getting into in just a second. Uh, with regards to the movie itself, I absolutely loved it, and I think that most Kion fans will too. Not only is it done in the classic Kion slice of life style that fans will be familiar with, the movie also has a running subplot to it. And now here is where I'll be talking about some spoilerish aspects of the movie that might or might not ruin some surprises. So if you are weary about this kind of stuff, just click the annotation to skip the following section. The thing that I really adored about this movie is that it was not only its own thing, it actually added to the main series as well. What do I mean by this? In the finale of the second season, we get to see Arthur's perspective of a seniors graduating and the doubts and misgivings that she had. In the movie, however, we see from the perspectives of Yui and the gang. And all of this is tied together very, very well with the creation of the song Tenshini Fureta Yo or Touched by an Angel. The song was indeed a wonderful surprise and a perfect gift for Azusa that undoubtedly pulled many heartstrings in the ending of the second season. Throughout the entire movie, we see just how the song was made, from conception to creation and the emotions that went into it. So in that sense, the movie really complemented and gave us much more emotional depth and meaning to the song and to the main series which is something that not many movies are able to accomplish. And as such, I think that this movie is a stellar sign off by Kyoto Animation to the k franchise. So now that we know that the movie is unequivocally one worth having and watching, let's see if this Blu-ray set is worthy of the movie. The box is definitely evocative of k what with its light and fluffy feeling. On the front, we have a hodgepodge of famous London sites, including the London Eye, Big Ben, Tower Bridge, the underground logo, the buses, the taxis, so on and so forth. And on the back, it's the Keon school with the signature tortoise and hare. So the thing that you notice upon receiving this set would be, number one, the sheer thickness of the box, and number two, its weight, because honestly, this is extraordinarily heavy. To find out why exactly that is, let's take a look at the contents inside. Before that, however, I am indeed obligated to show you this exclusive postcard that came with the set since I bought this from AmiAmi. Uh, nothing too special, but a nice touch nonetheless. First and foremost, let's take a look at the most exciting part of these Blu-ray sets, the physical extras, because everyone knows that extras are better when you can touch them. We first have a miniature replica of the theoretical pamphlet for the movie. Inside, we are treated with an overview of the Kion anime series. We then have voice actress interviews along with character bios for Yui, 
Mio, Ritsu, Tsumugi, and Azusa. And of course, the secondary characters. Uh, then we have interviews with the various staff, such as the director, the script writer, the character designer, the, mu the music producer, and finally the producer, recounting the various aspects of the production process of the movie, such as location scouting, designing, performance scene planning, so on and so forth. Uh, following that is a list of tie-in merchandise, of course, the movie credits, and a message from Kakifly, the creator of Kion, basically saying that he's frustrated that Yui and the gang got to go to London before him. And finally, what else but more movie merchandise. Up next is a mini booklet containing various setting materials of the movie. Inside are character designs, and various sketches of the London settings and items that appear in the movie. Something that caught my eye is that they even provided a map of London pinpointing the exact locations that were visited by the Keonbu. The map even specifies where they went on each day of their visit. This is extremely useful if you ever plan to visit London and reenact their trip for yourself. Being a fan of real world counterparts of anime locations, I have to say that this is a really neat inclusion. And now, what has to be the biggest and most jaw-droppingly amazing physical extra that I've ever seen included with a Blu-ray set? A 700 over page booklet with what is essentially the entire movie in storyboard form. If you've already seen my Kyo Annie Collection trading cards review, you'd know how awesome these storyboards are and how much I love them. Now, what these are are basically the plans for the movie. The camera angles, character actions, and even the dialogue are all detailed. It's pretty much the entire movie in physical form. Considering how rare storyboards are and how much information they contain, for production material fanatics like me, you really can't get any better than this. This is nothing short of outstanding. But that's not all. We have even more tidbits packed inside this Blu-ray case, or um, pink ray case in this case. The, uh, well, case itself isn't anything to write home about, with a picture of the five girls either post or pre-performance in their classroom. On the back, the usual Blu-ray stuff such as screen caps, the staff and cast list, and the legalese. For some reason, the list of special extras are not listed on the back, which is kind of inconvenient. So inside we get five commemorative photos of the members of Hokago Tea Time, replicas of the advance tickets that were sold in Japan, and they give you one of each design with five in total. And lastly, four court sheets belonging to the various members. They do all appear the same save for the scribblings and doodles. And that's pretty much it for the physical extras. Do note that the discs feature different illustrations on them. The one on the left being a collection of caricatures by Ritsu, and the one on the right um, featuring the main cast apparently nude for some reason. Uh, yeah, uh, now let's go over the bonus features you get on these discs. On the main disc, in addition to the movie, we have three commentary tracks. One with the voice actresses, one with the staff, such as the directors and key animators, and one with the producer. Unfortunately, while there are Japanese subtitles, there aren't any English ones. And on the bonus disc, first the basics. Trailers and commercials. Ten of them in all, including a special Ura On. You know, the bonus shots that come with the other Blu-rays that teach people proper theatre manners, uh, such as no recording, no talking, so on and so forth. Uh, we also have creditless opening and ending credits. Next, we have event and promotional footage and featurettes. A special episode of a TBS television program called Ongakudo, or Concert Hall in English, discussing and promoting Keon, its music, the anime, and the movie. The voice actresses giving a preview of the Keon exhibition at Universal Studios Japan a voice actress press conference at TBS Studios, 
an introductory featurette for Kaon, introducing and giving new viewers an overview of the franchise. This 123 Wa Kaon is, I assume, a promotional tagline for the movie as it premiered on the 3rd of December. A meet and greet session during the premiere of the movie. Location hunting in London, where you follow the movie director Yamada Naoko and a few others on the production team, going to London to take pictures and video for use as reference material for the movie. It is truly something, seeing the real life locations that the movie was based on and seeing how the little things that she experienced made it into the movie. The one that I remember most clearly being the flickering lights in the subway. And finally, we have the full version of an in-studio report by Tanaka Minami with an interview with the voice actresses in the recording studios. With this, you do get an insight into what goes on in the recording process. So in conclusion, this is an absolutely phenomenal release that is a far, far cry from the Haruhi movie Blu-ray release and one of the best anime Blu-ray sets that I've ever had the pleasure of owning in recent history. I mean, this is just excess upon excess. The special edition Blu-ray release is truly everything that you could hope for and more. Commentaries, promotional footage, featurettes, replicas of the theatre pamphlets and tickets, storyboards, production material, little extras like pictures and court sheets. You can tell that they put a ton of thought and effort into this release and it's just great. And that's really all I can say. Of course, English subtitles would have been much appreciated, but I don't think it severely detracts from the sheer amount of extras and bonuses that you get. The price is admittedly rather high, um, especially for a single movie, but as I said, the extras more than justify it. Not to mention, the movie is sublime. If you are a fan of Kion, this set is undoubtedly a must-get. So, the Zacta saying, see you guys in the next episode.